Uh, on your platform, GHB TV. Shouts out to you. Bill Haney has stated that they're that him and Devin Haney are interested in a move to 147 pounds. Mm -hmm. Devin's been talking about it, I guess, for like the last week or two. Mm -hmm. One fight at 40, then a 47 run. What's your thoughts on it? I mean, I don't know why. Because I ain't talk about that. I don't know what he see, but or what he heard. But me, I would say at 40. But it might be something he see and know. And I can't get mad, it's his career. But I don't know why, it's, it's, it's got me a little like, hmm. But we'll see. I mean, when you think about it, Tank jumped to 40 and then came back down. Mm -hmm. I mean, he might go to 47 for one, come back down. And if you do go at 47, who do you think it, you know, be a good fight for him? I heard something like Keith Thurman, somebody like that. Why do Keith Thurman throw Chiefs in the world? Because Keith's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Keith be in the park playing the ukulele and <laughs> playing around. Yeah. I, heard, I heard Keith and Clarissa Shell. I'm like, yeah, they keep trying to throw. Oh, no, that better not. All nasty shit. Now, if you're a trainer, who, who's the right fight? Like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a guy that used to be at 40, that moved up to 47? Like, what's the proper way to get your feet wet? Pause. If it was me, I'd take Devin Haney and I'd take. Uh, Brian Garcia up to 47 and fight him. They go they go to 47 together. Make a fight at 47. Me. If we just talk about making fights in boxing, you know what I mean? And just making a fight. Him going to 47 and fighting Rashidi Ellis. That's a good job, but dangerous. No, it's dangerous, but it's a good fight. Um, 47 and fighting Cody Crawley. I like it. 